everybody. Hey, everybody. We thought we would just make a video as to why why we're vegan um, and just some explanations and lots of facts and stuff that we found um, that we thought would just interest you guys and just any questions that you might have we're going to try to answer. If you have any questions that we don't answer in this video, uh, feel free to just comment below, um, ask any questions and we'll just comment back or we'll make a future video answering more questions. Um, I've been vegan for a year and three months now. This is my 26th day. <clears throat> so basically a month. Of being vegan. He's basically <clears throat> been vegan for the last six months, but we had lots of stuff in our pantry that we wanted to not waste, and we decided to, since I mean, we had already purchased it. I was like... 90% yeah, vegan he was like, for several months. I personally, so like the second question I guess would be, why did you go vegan? Um, and originally I went vegan for health reasons. Um, I all of a sudden, about a year and a half ago, started to get really, really, really bad acne, like the really painful ones that you can't like do anything for really. Uh, I went to dermatologist after dermatologist and None of them had a solution. I tried medicine, I tried um, topical treatments, and not, like it was painful. Like there has got to be something that I'm putting into my body that is affecting this. And every single dermatologist that I talked to said that diet had nothing to do with it. I started to do research online and found that uh, dairy is a huge, huge, huge contributor to acne. Um, because basically dairy is just hormones. If you're struggling with it, try to go just at least dairy free for a little while um, and it, it helps a lot. I became vegan a little over a year after Jackie did. So I did see like her and how she changed and it's kind of funny, the last restaurant food that I had before I became vegan was McDonald's. And I just, I had some, I forget what it, it may have been just like a cheeseburger, mm -hmm. maybe a McChicken, because I usually would get like the McDouble and McChicken. And afterwards I was just like, I don't feel good. And I was like, is this really worth it? I knew that someday I wanted to become vegan. And I just thought, okay, like, I just need to do it now. Uh, basically for health reasons is my my overall decision just because I feel like I mean, Jackie felt great for the past year. Unless she has too many vegan desserts then she feels a little upset. And I guess we should specify, so he and I eat high carb vegan. Um, high carb, low fat. High carb, low fat. Um, your body runs on glucose and glucose is sugar and sugar comes from carbs, and rice, and not just brown rice. We like white rice. We jasmine. like jasmine rice. Jasmine is rice. wonderful. But yeah, like if you prefer brown rice, that's awesome. Go for it. Eat brown rice. But we love jasmine rice, which happens to be white rice. Um, and you eat a lot of it. Like as a vegan, you have to eat more um, because plant foods are lower in calories, so you get to eat larger portions. Um, we eat potatoes. I eat that every single night for dinner and not like you can eat sweet potatoes, white potatoes, purple potatoes, whatever potato you fancy um, is awesome. It's a vegetable. Potatoes don't make you fat. You can go on an all potato diet and literally get all of your carb, fat, and protein needs just from potatoes. Um, we eat vegetables. We eat beans. What's funny too, people like automatically think that you're vegan and you eat salads. And I don't even remember the last time that I ate a salad. Like salads are awesome and if you love salad, like sure, get a huge like serving size bowl salad and eat it for dinner. Like that's awesome if you want that. But we like <laughs> rice, potatoes, um, oats. Okay, so first of all, the big question we always get is how do you get your protein if you're vegan? And of course, meat has protein, but so do vegetables, beans, fruits, a whole bunch of stuff has, has protein. You'll be really surprised how much protein a lot of things have that you wouldn't think has that much protein. A whole watermelon has 28 grams. Yeah. Just in a watermelon. But you think which a is watermelon's water. all water. No, it's protein. You got protein in it. 
Um, the whole like one gram of protein per pound of body weight is like a load of crap from the dairy industry to try to get you to buy more whey protein, more meat, more dairy, more milk. That's just like, you don't need that much protein. Like USDA says that as a human, you only need 2.5% of your calories um, from protein every day. So I don't know where the whole like you need 40 to 50 percent of your daily calories from protein now. Which one thing, this in itself, should at least make you think like, oh, it's kind of weird. Um, but meat, just a definition of what meat is, just one place I found online. It says <laughs> meat is animal flesh eaten as food. Doesn't that sound a little weird? Just a little weird. If not, then I don't know. And then uh, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, um, this is from 2016, so this year, um, said since early 1960s, uh, per capita milk consumption in developing countries has almost doubled. The meat consumption has more than tripled, and egg consumption has increased five times. So in this Cowspiracy documentary, mm -hmm. documentary, documentary, right? yeah. documentary uh, it mentioned how 51% of global greenhouse gas emissions are caused by livestock and their byproducts. I'm like, I don't know how this isn't a thing that everybody knows. Like, people are always telling you, like, oh, drive your car less, like, carpool, uh, get the high efficiency, like, washers and dryers, use less energy because the carbon footprint you're doing is too big. No, it's because of the amount of meat we're eating. It said that only 13 0.6% or roughly 13% is actually from methods of transportation. So this is shocking. One hamburger takes 660 gallons of water yeah. to make one hamburger. So, like not a pound of meat, like one hamburger. So we're, we're just guessing that that's maybe a quarter pound hamburger. I feel like that's an average. <laughs> average. Even he's upset about it. <laughs> Well, two months of showering. Two months of showering. Yeah. So, yeah, you can save water from showering, like taking quicker showers and stuff, but like eating a hamburger is basically like you showering for two months. So, that's what another thing we feel like. I mean, I'm sure there are places, hopefully, that take care of the animals yeah. that eventually become meat that people eat. But I'm 99% sure that a lot of a lot of places mistreat the animals and don't treat them well, mm -hmm. which is another reason why, like, I don't want to support the mistreatment of animals either. All right, we would like to thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this video just made you think a little bit about the possibility of going vegan and the benefits and whatnot. Yeah, basically, we don't want to make anyone become vegan. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about everything and you think that's the best lifestyle for you, definitely, I mean, join us. Uh, we think it's the best for us. Go um, high carb vegan, though. Yeah, and if you need any suggestions on what you, you could eat or what you should eat. YouTube it, um, Pinterest it. Yeah. And I mean, we can, we'll probably do this video sometime, just like what we eat in a week, day, yeah, in a week um, or whatever. daily, whatever. Um, but yeah, if we can help in any way, we, we'd like to. Um, if you have any questions, comments, whatever. Yep. Um, Thanks for liking. Like it. Commenting. Subscribe, subscribe. Comment. And we'll see you again next week. Yep. Thanks for watching. Bye.